Hey, this is Laura from Pearl Soho, and I am going to demonstrate helix knitting. Helix knitting is a fantastic technique for working single row stripes in the round when you have more than two colors, um, rather than the traditional way of working single row stripes where you would work you know, a single round in one color and then a single round in the next color, here you'll be working all of your colors, in this case four, in each and every round. Um, yeah, let's get into the demo. Before we start the demo, I just want to point out a couple of things. One is that I have 36 stitches casted onto this circular needle and I have four different colors. Um, the reason I mention this is that in the setup round, you're going to work each color the same number of stitches. So for me, that's going to be 36 divided by four. So I'll be working nine stitches um, in each color and uh, you can use that for you know, whatever your cast on is. Um, all right, let's jump into the setup row. So as you can see here, I have this swatch started. I have a few rounds of reverse stock and net, but now I'm gonna jump into the setup row around. And I want to um, you continue using the same yarn, the same color yarn for my first nine stitches. So I'm gonna just take nine knit stitches all right, let's double check two, four, six, eight, great. Okay, so while you, uh, before you switch colors, I'm gonna just uh, suggest, I have these balls lined up here um, on purpose and it's to kind of avoid creating a tangly mess. So now that I have completed working with color A, I'm gonna move it to the end and scoot these down um, and then grab the tail for color B. Um, and now once again, I'm gonna knit nine stitches. I'm gonna just join color B here and knit nine. All right, picking this up, scooting it down here, grabbing this tail or end rather, and I'm gonna join color C. And once again, knit nine. All right, on to our last color, color D. And this color will take us to the end of the round. And you guessed it, I'm gonna knit nine stitches. All right, so we have completed the setup round. Um, we knit each and every color. Um, but before I move yarn, or sorry, color D to the end, I'm actually going to, um, you're always gonna start your next round with the color you ended on. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with color D. First, I'll slip my end of round marker here. And the nice thing is I don't even have to count my stitches this time. I'm gonna knit color D across these white stitches and as soon as I get to the next set of stitches, I know that all I, it's time to drop color D, pick it up, move it to the end here, and pick up um, color A. Now I know I wanna use color A because it's the first one in line. It's also the yarn coming off of the row or round rather, the round right below. So I just pick this up. And now you might have the urge, especially on this very first round to kind of tug very tightly, but really fight that urge. You wanna have really even consistency um, so that you don't kind of create any um, puckers or anything at the transitions because one of the most rewarding parts of helix knitting is that it's a jogless technique. You don't have to um, deal with that kind of stagger or step that you deal with, with striping in the round um, th in the traditional fashion. Um, so here I have reached the end of those orange stitches. I know it's time to drop this color yarn, move it to the end. And now I just look at the section below, pick that that tail up or that end up. And now I'll use that color to work, work across the next section 
of stitches. And isn't that nice? We don't have to count anymore. Finish those stitches. I'm gonna plop this down there. My pile is migrating. Here we go, center it up. Look below, grab this working yarn from this color right below, the color you just finished. Pick it up and simply work across that next section of stitches. Now here we are about to get to the end of this round. And um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this round, you'll always be starting the next round with the color you just worked. So before I move this to the end, I'm gonna slip this stitch marker and continue working this purple color on top of this gray color you can see here. And it's when I get to that next color that I will switch my working yarn. And that's it, you go round and round and round and you're working all four colors or however many colors you have in each and every round. And there's no jogs and it's so fun. That's Helix Knitting. I'm gonna just keep going. <laughs>